Hey, it's Joe Foodie. We're at Mudgee's Deli in the Corktown neighborhood of Detroit, Michigan. Mudgee's has been around for eight years now. They were one of the first restaurants to open before the resurgence of Detroit along with Slow's Barbecue. In those eight years, they have evolved immensely, going from a simple sandwich shop to a full service restaurant with a full bar and an incredible wine list. Let's go inside and check it out. I am with Greg Mudge from Mudgies and Michael Finsilver, the bar manager. All right, so Mud, Greg, you're uh, you're coming up on nine years of business. Yes, nine years. How have things changed in the past nine years? Well, the recession has gotten a lot better, and uh, we've grown a little bit um, over time. Uh, we started out as a one-room restaurant, and now we have a uh, small bar, and we also have uh, this patio that we're sitting on now. So we've kind of doubled our business capacity seasonally um, and added, you know, an alcohol program and, and a bar. I'm with bar manager Michael Finsilver. Michael uh, is going to make us a drink today. What are you going to make me? So I'm going to make you a cocktail called If You're Not Into Yoga. It's a summer style cocktail. It's got some coconut rum, some pineapple juice, a little bit of lime juice, smoked pepper. That sounds fantastic. It's great, really. Is everything here made in house? We make all the syrups in house. We do just a couple of infusions, really simple things things so that we can pretty much tailor any drink to anybody's personal desires. So with this drink, we've got some coconut rum, which we can really put in anything that anybody's gonna want. So if you don't like pineapple juice, we'll find something that you like. Is the coconut rum, do you infuse the coconuts here? We do, it's okay. just unsweetened coconut flakes and rum. It sits for a couple of days, really, really simple. Oh, that's awesome. Like I said, nothing here is really too off the wall. I mean, we have things that taste good and we just do them nicely. That's all there is to it. So as we pour it, you can see that it's just a little bit, just slightly frothy. All right. We finish it off. A little bit of blackstrap rum. And a sprig of cilantro that we actually grow right out back here. So the dinner menu is changing on a regular basis? Uh, the, well, the dinner menu has been pretty straightforward for the last few years. Uh, we're about to drop a new dinner menu literally next week, actually. Um, so, uh, and, and it will evolve over time as well, but uh, <clears throat> with the expansion, we also gained another kitchen, which has a better capacity to actually handle a little more options for cooking different dinners at night. So uh, we'll be this, next week adding that menu. Yeah. So Joe has a uh, pork chop with lemon and sage. Uh, there's a little bit of spinach with red wine, olives, sun-dried tomatoes, dusted with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Uh, the potatoes are, are pan-seared with a little bit of fresh rosemary, salt, pepper, a little touch of garlic. So the so people might know you for your sandwiches. Yes. Uh, what could they expect on the dinner menu? Uh, the dinner menu is kind of going to lean towards an Italian vibe. Um, we're not going to pigeonhole ourselves into anything, but. Uh, There'll be some pastas, uh, the pork chop that you tasted tonight will be on that menu, um, and rotating dinner specials as well. Uh, try to do things seasonally and play along with whatever's happening around us as well. Um, so tell, Greg, tell me about the physical landscape of the area around you here. How has that changed since, you, uh, since the evolution in the last eight years? Of the well, restaurant. In, in 2008, when we opened uh, in this corner of the of the court town, which is the, the southeastern corner, uh, we were pretty much the only thing happening over here. Um, now we have amazing places like Batch Brewery and Brew Detroit, which are directly across from us. CC's is a couple blocks away. Um, Unfortunately, at that time, a lot of businesses were going out of the game because it was the recession. It was 2008, uh, like Bally Cork, which is, I thought was a great restaurant, which is now CC's, uh, had turned in it t turned in, and it was it was done. Um, and other other things that are in Cork Town still here to this day were there. You know, Nemo's is there, Oblivion's was there, which is now Bobcat Bonnie's. Yep. Um, and Slows had opened two years before that. Um, so. Corktown was kind of just on the cusp of coming back around again. Tell me about the park across the street. Was uh, it, when you opened eight years ago, was it as vibrant as it is now? 
Well, <laughs> with the drought we're going through right now, it's not very vibrant <laughs> right now either. But uh, it's funny, there's a drought. Nobody's really talking about the fact that there's a drought, but we, we haven't had rain, rain and... it seems, forever. But yeah. uh, as we sit here, sweating on this patio. <laughs> uh, so, but when I first took over the restaurant uh, in 2008, the park was in complete disarray. Uh, it wasn't maintained, the grass was overgrown. Um, this was before the state took over Belle Isle. Um, so the city was having a lot of a big hard time taking care of a lot of their parks. And now that actually the state's taken over Belle Isle, I think the city's doing a fine job and they're actually able to help us out even though we've adopted the park. Um, they, they're, they're very involved more so than they were before Belle Isle was taken over. So I think the state taking over Belle Isle was a great thing. Greg, where can we find you guys uh, online, on social media? Uh, we're everywhere. Um, the only thing I think we don't do is Snapchat. Okay. But uh, <laughs> we're on Instagram. We're on, on Facebook. We I think there's a MySpace page. No, <laughs> All right. There's no MySpace page. <laughs> but uh, we're online at mudgiesdeli.com. Okay. Um, and through mudgiesdeli.com, you can see everything that we're involved with, with Yelp and everything else, Instagram and mudgies and and. Twitter and everything like that. And, and what are your hours? Uh, Monday through Wednesday, we're open 11 a.m. until 9 p.m. with the kitchen, but the bar is open an extra hour. Those so till 10? Well, till 10 o'clock. Okay. Uh, and then Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we're open till 11 o'clock with the kitchen, and the bar is open until midnight. Um, if people are hanging out here on the patio having a good time, we'll stay open. All but right. It's, uh, and then Sunday, we do a, a 10 to 3 brunch. Great. So, yeah. Greg, Mike, thank you. Uh, thank you. Talk to you again soon.